What's up guys? I just woke up. I'm planning to vlog this whole day. Stay with me. I'm gonna take a shower. Be right back. down in my kitchen right now today is a very special day for me I'm picking up my new baby that I got for my birthday it was yesterday but I couldn't pick it up yesterday so I'm doing it today and I'm planning to document all day for myself it's uh, one of a beautiful part of a journey where you can actually use what you make and you know enjoy yourself a little bit so it was about time that I treat myself I worked hard for two years so Today is the day I'm going to reply some messages. My routine is a little bit different um, today because it's weekend basically, the day I'm recording it. So I don't have like the, you know, live trading session and trading and stuff. So I'm just gonna answer some of the messages that I have. Do my own thing, thing, uh, till we have, you know, it's a time to go pick the baby up. Let's go. We happen to be Barcelona and Real Madrid today and someone is about to lose today. We'll see about that. Yeah, we'll see. Who wins? So this is my daily routine usually when I wake up when it's 12 a.m. it's all dark. Come here, walk daily to you know get some oxygen into my brain before I start training. And it's really important you always have to make sure you wake up your brain and don't just wake up from your bed and go start training. Did that never ended good. So you know always do something like this. If you feel tired or not, that's actually how you create discipline basically. Discipline has no formula other than just you know freaking do it. So yeah I'm just gonna continue walking barely a little bit go back home. It's really cool in place. So. So I'm back at my setup right now. I don't usually have time on the weekdays, especially uh, recently that we start GBG live trading session in both London and New York. Um, so I kind of can't uh, record any more of my courses. Um, currently I'm updating all the courses I ever did, Golden Eyes, DMA Hack, every update is coming very soon. And I'm recording all the videos on weekend, I'm gonna use a couple well, I was planning for a couple of hours of my time, but it looks like it's uh, not gonna be more than one hour. I'm gonna record one video and be back. Find pump and dump is easy. It will take a couple of weeks for you, for your eyes to start seeing them. But what is important is identifying traps and confirmations, in my opinion. 
because that has a very um, huge effect on your win ratio. It can decrease your win ratio if you fail to look for these um, confirmations or actually identify it properly. Um, for me, less setup and higher win ratio is always better than more setup and less uh, win ratio simply because you know um, you will have more um, confident into taking the risk when you everything is aligned there. You have to always remember all outcomes are you know random. You cannot even if you're hundred percent sure you cannot be like why what is wrong here that it didn't happen. If you follow your plan properly then it's just you know, the losses of the plan. Plan didn't work. Simple as that. You don't have to change a good trading plan because of a bad market environment. All right. Sometimes market goes crazy and your edge might not work, but things will change and come back to normal. And that's usually the consolidation part. Anyway, let's get back to um, identifying these traps and how to properly find those confirmations. So we're out right now, I'm going to um, grab some stuff for my guest at uh, night. Um, so it's kind of emotional getting rid of this car, um, I'm losing about 35 grand overall um, for this car by the trading that I'm doing it uh, because I put lots of mileage on the car. I drove this car for like 148,000 kilometers over the last um, two and a half years. But this car was, you know, one of the decision that I made that, you know, um, it was kind of life changing in here. It might not look that crazy and, you know, um, big of a deal. But when I came here, I, I came to Canada six years ago, you know, with $7,000 on my hand. And, you know, I've been trying, you know, nine to five works, gas stations, selling phones. But I knew without car, I can't really have any side hustle. So... When I went and bought this car, thanks to, you know, credit story stuff in the Canada. I bought this car without even that I can afford it, you know. I couldn't afford it at all and I was planning to um, get the car, work with it, do some side hustle and get the, you know, money. And that's what I was doing basically. I was selling phones and then, you know, delivering pizza. Uber Eats, um, you know, even I regular Uber for sometimes. That's what you gotta do, you know. I'm a family man. I had to provide, and you know, if that means you have to sacrifice your ego and do something that you never could, you have to, you never thought you would have to do. You know, you just gotta do it. Uh, but that's why I. I am proud of myself to making that decision because by making that side money, I decided to, you know, um, continue. I, I saw that I could, I now, I'm now affording the car that I couldn't afford before simply because I made that decision. So that's why when, that's when I quit my, you know, nine to five job, became a partner with some other guy in a money exchange business and that's that was another key decision for me that I made and you know quit the job without having you know quit the safe job without having any other income and just by hoping that it would work and again that was another risk that I took but I guess if you have nothing to lose you just gotta take the risk right if you want it badly or um, if you have nothing to, to lose why not going all in right so I made that decision and started that business, turned out a failure. Um, I was making even less than a safe income. Still was doing some um, side hustle until I find out about Forex, Forex market. And you know, it was pretty related together actually, you know, um, exchanging, yeah, exchanging money and you know, exchanging money through your phone. It's pretty same thing. So I, it, it helped me grasp the knowledge much faster and basically that's that's when everything changed that's when everything changed and um, I'm thankful I had failure um, in this country I had failure in back home I tried different businesses which um, you know didn't work 
but I tried. I'm proud that I tried because <clears throat> at the end of the day, um, you don't want to die with regret. You want to die with, you know, historical moments. Um, that that's that's all I care most of the time. You know, when I'm trying to make a decision, I always think that you know, um, is it something that you're gonna regret it later? If it turns out to be good, if the answer is yes, no matter what is the cost or how dangerous it might look, I'll go all in and I'll do it, whatever I have to do. That's what a successful person would do. And anybody who I studied took the risk, so. I am willing to take it too. So I'm kind of arriving here. I'll be back soon. All right, it's time now. We're gonna get into the car and drive to the dealership. Let's just say bye to this baby. And Parkview BMW, um, very good one. Um, let's go inside. It's a shame you have to wear this mask, but it is what it is. Let's go.
right, so now we got guests coming. I didn't still drive the car really much, but I'm gonna iron this stuff. GPG stick tonight, you know? And you don't just trade, you know? So we're gonna barbecue all this stuff. Sorry, marinate all this stuff and then put it there for a couple of hours and then go out. And then we'll see what happens. Don't try it at home, it might get heart attack, you know? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. You're doing the barbecue. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, obviously, we're gonna have more videos coming in. So I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, share it with your friends.